John Miller, we were told a short while ago that there would be what the explosive ordnance people, the bomb squad guys, call a controlled detonation at one of these locations. What does that mean? That means that they found explosives somewhere that they are not certain of the stability of or safety of to move very far. So what you have there is a situation where a likely scenario is, and we'll, we'll probably, um, if we don't see this, which we might, we'll probably hear it, is that they will use a uh, robot to bring those explosives out of wherever they are. It's, it's very likely, they set an address on Norfolk Street, that is the street where the two suspects um, lived. So it is, it is possible that the components and explosives that they used uh, may have used to make the, um, the, the bombs they placed at the marathon, that the leftovers may be there. So they're going to want to bring that stuff outside, probably using a robot so that they don't have to endanger an officer if they can get the robot to navigate in that house and then back out. We're told it's an apartment. Um, bring it down to a safe location, backyard, a parking lot, something like that, and then use a counter charge. That's where you use an explosive that will basically set it off in a way that you can control it and be done with it. Um, not a pretty thing to do inside a building, um, but also it's nothing you want a person carrying. So that's a, a possible scenario of how they'll deal with that. Um, and that will be um, the, the pros. I mean, they know what they're doing, but even with all that experience, it's a little bit of a high tension operation. And all of this suggests that the bombers were making a lot of bombs. They yeah. used two on Monday. Overnight, they were throwing explosives of one kind or another at police officers, and now apparently more have been discovered in this house. It seems that way, and it, 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 um, it adds to, if not an answer, it adds you know, to a question we've been struggling with, which is, if they did conduct this attack, why? And if there was a why, why not a claim of, re of responsibility to frame that why? Because terrorism is all about, about inciting fear and making people know what they're supposed to be afraid of. And if there wasn't a claim of responsibility that went to a why, and there's leftover explosives, and they certainly didn't flee the area, did they have something else planned? And what was to be next? And the people who know that, one of them is dead, and the other one is the subject of a manhunt in Boston centered on Watertown and on Cambridge.